and welcome back to our Let's Play for Crusader Kings 2 Croatia and this is Tech here and we'll kind of get right back into it here and I apologize for the delay um, kind of had some internet woes the last few days so um, hopefully that should be resolved at this point this may not be a real long episode but I definitely want to get an episode going here and a few more over the next couple days here we'll kind of start cranking them out um, if you remember where we left off, the last episode, we were squashing some rebellions, imprisoning people, just general fun king stuff at this point, and we have a little bit of cleanup that we do need to do, because we have a couple prisoners sitting in jail that we need to uh, resolve, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that here in this part, and then sort of let it keep going towards some other items and see how things turn out. Um, Let's see, we have a couple things going on here. We have Scylla, which I'm going to resolve first. After some more thought, I think I'm going to try to resolve things with her a little bit, as she only really holds the Duchy of Ungvar, which is right up here, which is kind of a two-county... That's the two counties, are kind of right. Well, no, she has... Berg and Ceres, those two there. Oh, and the other guy who's in prison has that one. Gotcha. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do with her, and her, you know, her opinion's not that far gone. I think she just kind of got caught up in the, uh, in the whole big takeover, and so I think, you know, I'm going to give her a second chance. Although she's greedy and envious. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Um, so I think what I'm going to do actually is, and there's two ways you can go about this. You can either ransom her or just straight up release her. Now if you ransom her, you get money from it, which in this case would be, um, nope, you got to go the other direction, dummy. Uh, it would be 145 gold, which is a sizable chunk. The problem with that, though, I believe, is you will take a big um, opinion hit. Because then you will get, I don't know, it's like a negative 30 or something, I think. Or 25, or somewhere around there, for imprisoned. However, if you just straight up release someone, I don't think you get that hit. And you actually get a plus. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that and then make up the rest of the change on it uh, by sending a gift, probably, which shouldn't be too terribly expensive. So I'm going I'm to kind of resolve things with her because I'm not too worried about her. She's pretty young. She doesn't have a ton of power, so I think that's the best way to go. So I'm just going to release her. Okay, and so she's only a negative five now. If I send her a gift, it's only 25, I get 32, so that'll put her nicely into the green. So there we go. And then her, her fellow guy, I'm going to probably just release him too. He actually already liked me, so, so we'll just go ahead and release him too. So that, those were the easy ones. Um... Now for the tough one, <laughs> and I'm sure some of you are laughing about that, is what to do with Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. The ex-king of Hungary who will hate my guts forever and continuously try to harass me. The problem with it is I can't, if I just leave him in there to rot or if I kill him or something, then all this nonsense is going to be thrown to the wind to all the various heirs, or else I guess basically he'll get all of it, wouldn't he? Heir to the Duchy of Esron, Moldu, yep. So this guy would get everything. Ch the Chancellor. Um, My opinion is negative one. So, so I mean, I guess that's the two things. 
The problem is... Hmm. The only other option I have is I can go ahead... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and revoke something. I'm going to go ahead and pull a title from him. But you can only... If people for, that are watching this, if you're not familiar with it, you can generally only kind of revoke one title. And then if you try to revoke a second title, you start taking big penalty hits with a lot of your vassals. So I'm going to pull one title from him. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to pull... And this is another thing with duchies, in regards to when you look at duchies and counties. One thing is, I don't think you can be, as a king, I don't think you can be over like two duchies or something. For every duchy you have over two, you take a bit of a penalty, I believe, against your vassals. Which, I know I already have two duchies. Um, I'm almost positive. Um, uh, so, I don't want to take a duchy. And then also, I think you run into issues with taking a duchy where a duchy is, say, you know, here's the duchy of, um, you know, Ez here. And within that duchy is three counties. Well, if I have the duchy but none of the counties, and some guy has all the counties, he can claim the duchy, I think. Um, however, with taking the county, you can kind of run into the same thing where is if I take this county here and another guy owns these two, he can do the du jour claim. However, with the way my laws are set right now at medium crown authority, it doesn't allow vassals to wage private wars within the realm, so I don't think anybody could actually take a county. But I still think you can usurp a duchy title if you have proper you know, founding for it, I believe. And someone can feel free to correct me in the comments on that. So, I think it's, you know, I, and I, like I said, I could be wrong on that. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if I was. But I think the better way to go is to yank a county from him. And I think I'm going to yank the capital, the ex-hungry capital here. I think I'm just going to yank that one. There we go. All right, so I yanked that. Now see, if you try to re-yank another one, so say I try to come in here and take, uh, um, where's it at, Pressburg here. See, I'll take a 20 hit with all my vassals, and I don't really want to do that. So, now the question is, we have two ways to go on this. I can let them go, or even ransom them for some money. I can ransom them and get 145 gold. I can ransom them out, and then when he causes trouble again with a plot or revolts, you know, beat him down and imprison him again, yank something else from him, and just kind of do that until he quirks off or something. Or I could go ahead and just keep him in prison right now. Just leave him in here and let him rot. And then when he dies, let his heir take over and hope that we don't have problems with his heir. But I mean, this guy's got a lot of counties and areas, and it's just, he's very, very dangerous. Um, but at the same time, if I release him, he's very dangerous, so, because he really, really, really doesn't like me. Whereas this other guy actually has a green opinion of me. And, you know, maybe I could even improve it some once he takes over these other areas or something to that effect. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I think for right now... Hmm, I think for right now I'm going to leave him in jail. Now, if any of you guys have some opinions on that feel free to offer them up because I'm probably just going to be doing this one episode right now and then it'll be a day and then I'll do you know probably a series of two to three again like I normally do so I think I'm just going to leave him in jail right now we'll let this run just for a little bit see if we get a couple of events pop up uh, but I'm, I'm hesitant to let him out because he's just going to get out and cause some crazy shenanigans and and I don't know if I really want to deal with that especially when his heir isn't somebody that totally hates me now, another thing, I was looking around a little bit. And I saw, well, I have a revolt wrist down here. Here, 
He doesn't need to be training troops anyway. What? Duke has made the Dutch even here its primary title, okay? Well, crap, that didn't take very long, did it? Okay. Okay, let's pause. Alright, so you know all that stuff that I was talking about a little while ago? Just throw that out. Because he got a whole bunch of negatives against me. Once control of the county of Gimmer, desires the kingdom of Hungary. Man, an old dude takes over and instantly. Okay, so what ha actually, well actually this may work out to be, this may work out the best anyway. Desires duchy of this. Okay, so we're going to have a little duchy dispute there. Um, but he didn't get all the titles. He didn't get quite as much as I thought he was going to get. Let's look at our vassals real quick. Is there anybody else negative? No, he's the only one. Okay, I can't marry him into him with somebody. Um, four percent. That's not bad. This may actually work out for the best anyway. Um. Let's go ahead. Well, that's good. That's well worth 20. 20 gold gets 34. We'll do that. We can give him an honorary title, too. Which we get it a little bit closer. Does he have any children? No. His sister. His sister. Oh, the Poland king who offered to marry our sister, I think it was, married this guy's sister instead. <laughs> Bolslaw. Remember that? I think that was last episode. So it was actually this guy's sister. Okay, well I can't marry either of his sisters. I'm not going to be able to get him into positive, but I'll get it pretty close, and the revolt risk went away. Let's award him an honorary title. Give him Master of the Hunt, maybe. That's ten. And then we'll just kind of watch him for a little while and see see how it goes um do we have our he's still uncovering plots which is fine okay i wonder do i have well i'm not gonna worry about that right now Let's let it run just for a second, see if we get anything that pops up right away. I think that was I think that was probably for the best. I think letting Bella die in there. I think if I'd have let him out, it'd have been hell on hooves across Croatia. Old boy just was not gonna let anything I mean he was just gonna he was gonna push it until there was major issues. Alright, the falconer is expecting me a new hunting bird, is expecting me as a new hunting bird arrived and awaits my inspection. Tell him I'm busy. Oh, see you guys, if you remember from me from the early episodes, if you watch this whole series, I, I, I have always hated and feel like there's nothing but bad to come from the whole falconer uh, mini story. <laughs> um... Because see, if I go, if I say here, if I do this, his opinion means he's already a hundred. I don't need the opinion, and then I think there's just bad things gonna happen. So I'm just gonna do the prestige. I'm busy. Don't bother me with that bird stuff. 
Uh, Knights Templar New Christian Military Order has been founded by a small group of wealthy knights, the poor fellow soldiers of the Christ in the Temple of Solomon, or the Knights of the Temple for short. I have sworn to protect pilgrims traveling through the Holy Land. Pope Vitalin II fully endorses the order and will allow pious Catholic rulers to call on their aid, though they will not fight other Catholics. Excellent to know. Actually, let's take a look. Are we? Okay, the Pope's 56. That's pretty decent. He doesn't like me being a drunkard. And I'm well liked by all of my bishops, so we're good in that. Okay, so probably we'll stop it right there. And in the next episode, what we're going to need to do is... Ooh, our money's going pretty good. We need to start hitting some upgrades, particularly on my, <clears throat> on my own counties. So we're going to really start diving into that on the next episode, and then just kind of watch for random events and see if anything pops up that we have to address. I think our... We took care of our guys pretty well there. Um, the only vassal we have in the negative is the guy who took over for Bella, but he's not that bad. And he didn't inherit as many... It looks like he got all the duchies, but he didn't get the counties because I guess maybe he couldn't hold them and he had to give them up probably. Or whoever else got those counties. Maybe the heirs were slightly different on some of those counties. But he, he did get the duchies. Um... So I guess if something eventually happened, I could yoink one of those, but, um, like, I, I really don't like him. I want the Duchy of Eskrown, yeah. Is there a plot for that by chance? Revoke the Duchy of Salak, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, we'll pick it up in the next episode. Feel free to leave your comments. Like I said, I'm recording this episode. This should be going up on Friday. Um, so... I'll probably record like a bank of two to three episodes on Sunday or Saturday night, go up Sunday, something like that. So we will see you on the next one. Thanks for the comments and catch you next time.